Hi, in today's video, we're going to take a look at installing Open Web UI with Olama and Cirex NG for web searches. So, what I'm going to do is actually show you a video I pre recorded of the setup. And the reason I pre recorded it is because it uses a lot of uh, the CPU. And if I tried to do it at the same time as recording with OBS Studio, I'd get a lot of audio glitches. So I'm going to open up the video here. And first of all, what we're going to do is actually start Olama. And we need to start Olama by exporting Olama host to 000 and the Olama port, and then running Olama serve. And we'll do that with a simple script called Olama start. After that, we're going to start up CRXNG. And we're going to start that using the CRXNG script that I showed you in a previous video on getting CRXNG set up. And you can see here's CRXNG. So once we've got those two set up, we're going to set up Open Web UI. And what we're going to do is run the compose.yaml file with podman compose up dash D. And then open the browser to 127.0.0.1, And what will happen is, first time you do this, you may think it's not actually loaded, but you just need to give it a second and refresh the page. It'll come up eventually. There we go. So what we're going to do is come across to the settings. You can see up here we've got the models loaded up. So we're going to click the little bot um, button at the bottom and go to settings, and then admin settings. And what you'll see here is the connection. So you can see it's set up to connect to Alama with host.docker.internal because Open Web UI is running in a Docker container, a Podman container. And then you'll see here the web search. And what we're actually doing is putting in the LAN IP of the CRXNG uh, container. So you can see we've got web search enabled and the web search engine set to CRXNG. Okay, so we'll come back across to Open Web UI. And what we need to do is just click web search and then into our query. And you can see here I'm using Llama 3.18b. So we're going to ask it when a Newcastle United playing Barcelona. And we're going to give it a minute. And I'll fast forward there. So it's searching, it takes a second or two. Or free. Searching 15 sites. And now it's going to spit out the result. There you go, and that's correct. Okay, so let's have another look at the settings. Admin settings. And the one thing I forgot to show you was the search result count. It's how many places it's going to search and the concurrent requests. So what I'm going to do now is actually show you how to set up Firefox to use Open Web UI in the sidebar. So what we need to do is go to About Config, and we're going to search for Browser LM Chat Hide Local Host. By default, it hides local host connections. So we'll run About Config, and we're going to toggle that from True to False so that it won't hide local connections. Next step we need to do 
is come across and search for browser LM chat provider. Okay, and then what we're going to do is put in localhost port 3000, which is the <clears throat> URL for Open Web UI. So what you do is you click in the right-hand side here, put in the URL, and you can see it's now opened up. So this is Open Web UI running in the sidebar here. If we choose the models, you need to click search the internet and we'll give it a query. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward this. What was the score in Newcastle United's last game? And it gets this wrong. Right, so we're going to do another search and say, what was the score for Newcastle United versus Wolves? Give it a second. Okay, so that's the correct result. The score for Newcastle versus Wolves was 1 0. So, what we're going to do next is show you how you actually enable the Firefox sidebar. So, if you come to settings, scroll down in general and click show sidebar and what that's going to do is it's going to add a little sidebar icon up there you click that and you can click the settings down the settings cog down the bottom left um, to actually show the sidebar what comes up in the sidebar like the um, browser history um, bookmarks and the uh, chat assistant so let's have a look at this the setup so first of all what you're going to do is make sure you've got port 3000 open in your firewall if you're using Linux you can use something like GUFW um, which is a graphical interface for the firewall the next step is we have the podman compose.yaml so what we're going to do if I come back to Podman, Open Web UI, what you'll see here is I have a compose.yaml file and a data directory, which is actually empty. And what I found is you need to create the data directory uh, for it to actually work. It's completely empty, but um, it seemed to not work unless I did that. So what we've got here is we're going to create the open web UI directory. So I have a Podman directory in my home folder, and inside that I create a directory called open web UI. We're then going to create the data directory inside there, mkdir-p podman open web UI data. And then we're going to create the compose.yaml file with the following code. So what we have here is the ports. Uh, we set the web i uh, web UI auth to false. So, if you want if you want to have multiple accounts using Open Web UI, um, remove these two lines here. Um, I'm using it as a single user, and I don't want to have to log in and create an account just to use it. So, we set web UI auth to false. Um, I also have this set up with NVIDIA. So if I come across to my NixOS config, Podman, okay. So in my NixOS config, what I have is hardware NVIDIA container toolkit enabled. So if you're on another Linux distribution, you're probably gonna want to install the NVIDIA container toolkit. So these are my settings for 
um, setting up Podman, which I showed you in another video, so I won't go over it again. Right. So CRXNG, um, what we do is we actually put in this URL, um, which is my LAN IP, into the Open Web UI settings. So put in your LAN IP here, port 8080, search, question mark, Q equals query, like this. And the one setting we need to change in CRXNG in the settings.yaml is set the limiter to false. Otherwise, the search, CRXNG search doesn't work properly with Open Web UI. And again, when we start Olama, what we need to do is run export Olama underscore host equals 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 colon 11434. And we can then run Olama serve. But as I said, um, if I come back to Olama. I created a script to do that because otherwise I always forgot. I would, I would just run a Llama server and then wonder why it's not working. So we create a simple script like that to start a Llama, which exports a host and gets everything set up. And then to start the open web UI, we just run podman compose up d in the open web UI directory. First time you run it, it's going to pull down all the containers and get everything set up. And as I said, once you when you first start it up, it takes it takes a few seconds to actually kick in. So don't be surprised if you go to the um, the web page and nothing happens. Just refresh the page after ten seconds, and it will show up. And then to stop it, we run. Podman dash compose down. And these were the settings for the open web UI by default. It's set to API open web open ai.com v1. And the Alama API connection is set to host.docker.internal1134. 11434 rather. And once you've set up Alama to listen on all interfaces, Open Web UI will be able to connect to Alama and you'll be able to choose different models and run search engine queries using CRXNG. And when you want to update Open Web UI, you can run podman dash compose pull and podman compose up D dash dash force recreate. And what that will do is that will download. Open Web UI again. So it is quite a big application. It can be like um, about four or five gig. So it may take a couple of hours, depending on your connection speed, to download everything. But once it's all set up, as I say, let's have a quick, quick refresh on the um, video. Okay, so. That's what we need to do to start a llama. So we just run the llama start script, switch to CRXNG, run CRXNG start, as I showed you in a previous video. Open Web UI, so this is just searching for Open Web UI with CRXNG. Okay. Then we start up. Open Web UI with Podman Compose up dash D. So 127.0.0.1 colon 3000. As I said, when you first start it up, you'll get a, an issue like this. Try again once or twice. It will come up. Then we came down here to the settings. Admin settings. Yeah, we went to the web search.
Okay, so in this screen, what you'll see is we've got the web search toggled on. We've got CRXNG selected there, and we have the CRXNG query URL. And again, you're going to want to place the IP address here with your LAN IP address uh, that's running CRXNG. Change the result count to something like 10 or 20. I think by default it's set to 3 and um, the concurrent request to 10. <coughs> That's about it. And um, again, we set up Firefox. So browser MI, it was an ML chat hide local host. And we need to set that to false. It's by default, it's set to true. Then we search for browser ML chat provider. Pasted in localhost 3000. And it shows up in the sidebar. And just remember, you need to click the little globe icon here to enable web searches. And finally, just a recap for the Firefox sidebar, come into the settings down here, scroll down, show sidebar. And on this page down here, if I could, that's going to come up, isn't it? So you can see in the bottom left hand corner, the little cog. Now, hang on, let me fast forward it a bit. Okay, so when the sidebar is open, you'll see a little cog in the bottom left hand corner. And if you click that, you can enable the chat interface here um, and also bookmarks and history and things like that. And a note, if you actually want to remove the sidebar, what you need to do, um, if you get this little icon come up, you can open the sidebar with alt control X, I think it is, um, toggle it open and closed. But if you want to remove the sidebar, right click in the, to the right of one tabs and select customize toolbar, and then you'll be able to drag that little icon away um, so it's not showing up. So that's how you get Open Web UI set up with Alama and Cirex NG for web searches. I'll put links to all this under the video and hope that helps out.